Okay, so in today's video, we'll be talking about Batman Abao. Batman Abao, in my opinion, I think he's, I'm pretty sure he should be a defensive player of your candidate because he gave you 21.4 points, 10.1 rebounds, 3 assists, and is having a true shooting percentage of 58.8%. Along with those numbers as well, Batman Abao is also giving you a career high in points per game as well as field goal attempts and giving you almost a block and steal per game and he being used in the Miami Heat offense 26.3% of the time and he has a PER rating of 20.7 so that should be all star caliber status in my opinion. And for Batman Abao he's basically been really good for the Miami Heat this season and he's giving you a lot on the points per game margin. He's having the best scoring season of his career and there's nothing more you can do to stop this guy. He's really good of a defensive anchor for his team and he's only going to get better. He's only 25 years old, I'm pretty sure, or 24 if I'm correct, and his ceiling is sky high. And if I were to give him a ceiling to a player now or a player comparison, I'll compare him to like with Blake Griffin because he can bring the ball up like Blake Griffin, he can pass the ball like Blake Griffin, he's always getting about 3 assists a game. He can basically just have more tenacity on the offensive end unlike Blake Griffin, but he's very athletic, raw, and just basically a small ball center all teams want in their offenses. And for the Miami Heat, they're pretty small. They have Kyle Lowry at 6'3", they have Tyler here almost 6'4", or 6'5", then you have Jimmy Butler at 6'6", at six or 6'7", six or 6'8", six and you have Bam at about at 6'9", and whoever else he had that power four position, it pretty much says it all. For Bam at about, he holds the Miami Heat defense on a standstill because he's giving you almost a block and steal per night, and he has a plus eight net rating, and he basically makes all the efforts he can on defense, as well as finishing at the rim. He basically shoots a field goal percentage of almost 54%, so that's very close to 60% as her players like Nick Claxton is busy as having a higher field goal efficiency. But at the same time, Bam Adebayo should be recognized on the glass because he can finish at the rim, he can rebound a lot, and he can block shots at a fair rate. And for Bam Adebayo, he's basically the key to the Miami Heat team because Jimmy Butler has been out a bit and he's really much been carrying the load. He's been giving you 20, 18, 30 points a night and basically many streaks given. And for Bam Adebayo, he's only going to get better, man. And for this Miami Heat team, they're very small, they're very lengthy, and they shoot the ball a lot. But I think for Batman Above, he basically has done a lot for the Miami Heat team. But aside for Batman Above, for the Miami Heat team right now, they're basically playing very much good defense as they're basically second opponent's points per game. They're basically third in defensive rating and they're basically in the bottom half of the league in offense and points per game. And they're almost second last in pace and their offensive rating is, is almost the, the second or third worst in the NBA. But for the Miami Heat side of things, they're basically all positive as for the defensive side, and that's all for Bam and Abao and for other players on the team like Jimmy Butler and many other wings on this team that play defense. But this is very crazy how they're almost the top 5 or 10 defensive team when they lost PJ Tucker, who had basically the main defender last season. For Bam and Abao, it's basically just covering that up, whether he's being a hedge defender, whether he's being a main defender in the offense, or whether he's being a main defender on the team's offense. Or whether he be a main defender for their team's defensive set, I don't know what's going on with the team. But for the Miami Heat, they're third in steals as Bam basically gets a steal per night. And for blocks, they're last. But, and yeah, they're basically not a lot to do. The only thing, the positive thing about the Miami Heat, they basically lead the league, almost lead the league in steals that they're a, th they're a top three team to do that. And they shoot the three ball a lot. And they have a high free throw percentage and they shoot it up to a fair amount as Batman about shoots at 80%. That's really it. But for their opponent side of things, they basically hold them to basically a good field goal margin. They basically hold them off the glass a little bit. And they basically do a bit of everything. In that. And for the main source of that is Batman about because he's leading the team in points, he's leading the team in rebounds, um, he's leading the team in, in field percentage. Like he's having career highs for points per game and he's always leading his team in every stat category. And for Jane Butler, he's doing a little bit better as around the, as around the same stat length. But for Bam and Abao, he's doing a bit better. And I think for Bam and Abao, I already read his stats already. He's giving you 21, 10, 3, 54, and 10, and 80% from the free throw line. And for Bam and Abao, he's giving you 21, 10, 3, 54% from the field, 10% from the three point line, and he's shooting the free throw at 80%, and he's only a better man. But that's what I gotta say, I'm Batman about, and for his ceiling, I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he should be an all star this season, and he could probably be a superstar if he were to have a team of his own. 
But that's it for my thoughts on Batman and Bob. If you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And it's your boy, Demi. More NBA and rappers content on the way. And I'm out, man. Peace out.